What's up everybody? Thank you so much again for tuning in today's video. Today we're gonna to be working inside the hog barn and getting some new baby pigs. The last couple of videos you guys have seen me, you know, power washing and putting the building all back together, which it is now, everything's put back together. So what we're gonna go ahead and do right now is we're gonna take some of this bag feed and we're gonna load that up and put it in the barn. The company that we grow pigs for, they drop this bag feed off every time we start a new group and pretty much what this bag feed is used for is to, some of it's used to get the whole, all the pigs started off uh, a little bit faster like this barracuda. This barracuda has a little bit more sugar in it and it's a lot more tastier. And we only apply that to the pigs every, the first two days that they're in there. So we only use that really early on. And then the rest of this stuff is really used towards the bottom 10% pigs, the pigs that fall back during the group's growth. And hopefully what this feed can do for us is it can take those pigs that are, you know, falling back and hopefully turn around to make them a regular pig again. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna first take the bucket off the skid loader because we can't use, we can't pick up this pallet unless we have the forks on. So I'm gonna put the forks on the skid loader, take this pallet and I'm gonna put it in the back of my truck, back it up into the chute. And then me and my dad are gonna load each bag off and uh, we'll put it inside the building. Had to make a little room in the bed of my truck. Everything's ready to go. We're just waiting on a meandering Missouri trucker. So like my dad said, we got everything rolling the way we want it, getting this, this line of feeders all full. We're gonna fill this south side of the south room first, so that's why we're running this feed system and getting all these feeders full. Uh, we decided to fill the south room first this time, just because last time we filled the north room and we, you know, we just wanted to change it up a little bit. So we're, we're gonna fill this south room first, then we'll move into the north room. So before these pigs get here, I'd like to just sh share a little bit of how we go about filling up these pens. Right now, usually we don't do as many pigs as we're gonna do per pen, but since we're putting 5,000 in here, uh, in the beginning, we're gonna put a few more pigs per pen than we usually do. We're gonna do about 66 pigs per pen. Um, and what we go ahead and we do is we really take advantage of our rear swing gates what this does is it allows us to have a you know larger and wider alley for these pigs to run down and when we get the pigs off the truck they'll just come and they'll run down this alleyway and we'll just let them let them run and then once they're once all the pigs are off the truck we'll go ahead and we'll start counting them so you know i'll sit here and i'll count out however many pigs are get down here because a lot of them are going to come down here and they're going to fill out this little pen and we're going to fill this pen first so i'll count out however many pigs are in this pen we're gonna do 66 times two because this is a double pin. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead, I'll grab this, once I have as many, the, the, the amount I want, and I'll swing it, pin it, and then the next group of 66 will come. And I'll count out 66. You know, one, two, three, 66. Then I'll grab and I'll grab this gate and I'll pin that gate. And we just do that process over and over and over again until we have all our pigs spread out the way we want them. That is why I encourage anybody that go, is gonna go ahead and build a barn 
to get rear swing gates because it makes everything so much easier when it comes to sorting, loading, anything you want to do with pigs as far as move them, moving them goes, it's just a lot easier. They just arrived, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to be the one that's going to go ahead and count them all. I'm going to pin them all while my dad gets them off the truck and brings them to me. So his job is just to make sure none of them pile up and they get through the shoot all good and then they'll come and they'll just kind of wander their way down there and as they're wandering their way down there I'm gonna count out 66 to a pen. The counting can be the most frustrating part because when you start out, you get two or three or four to go at a time, and then all of a sudden, all of them try to go, and it gets very, it gets a little dicey on your count. We'll probably have to recount some of these. So we got them all in, and most, and all of them are pinned, but there's a few that I think I might have missed counted, so I'm gonna recount them just to make sure that I did, and if I got too many in a pen, then I'll run the extra into the pen at the end, and if I don't have to, if I don't have 66 exact, and I'm off a little bit, and I need a couple pigs to make it 66, I'll take a couple pigs from the end pen and put them in there. Because the end pen isn't even close to 66, it's got roughly like 20 pigs in it. So that's, if you're short a little bit, you can take some pigs from there and put them in the pens that you're short in. So I'm gonna count and make sure that I did a good enough job. While I'm doing that, make sure our count's right, Dad is gonna go ahead and do what he's doing right now, which is mat feeding. These pigs were just weaned off the sows today, so they've had a little bit of creep feed because all the sow units we get pigs from, they have pans that they put in the farrowing crates, so the pigs, they know what, they know what feed is, but obviously when you got mom's milk, the feed is just secondary. Um, and they aren't used to going to a feeder, so when you put them in this pen, they don't know where the feed's at, and they aren't real sure whether they want it. They're, they're still looking for mom. Um, so we put feed out of the feeder, in the pan of the feeder, we put it on that slab that the feeder sits on, and then we put them in the mat, put it on the mat. And then also, on top of that feed, we have this feed. This is called Barracuda, and it smells, amazing i haven't had a bowl but it smells real good and it is basically a lot of sugar and some milk product and it tastes absolutely delicious to a pig and so what we do is we go up here and for the first for the first three days we will just sprinkle they call that top dressing we'll just sprinkle a little bit of that feed on the pad and in the feeder we don't put any on the mat because by the third day, those pigs will be looking for this, and we want them to go to the feeder. We don't want them looking on the mat, we want them going to the feeder, and then the pigs, if everybody's eating, because they're all used to eating at once, the extras will, will feed on the mat and they'll get that. But this, excuse me, this stuff, we want them to associate the good taste of this with going to the feeder, and that gets them started. Main goal with that is we really want the pigs to get used to eating out of the feeder because that's what's gonna be there all the time. The mats won't always be there. And if you get them used to eating out of the feeder now, they'll always eat out of the feeder and they'll always know it's there. So that's why we do that. So I was one pig off, so I had 67 instead of 66. So I'm gonna take him and I'm gonna put him at the end pen. So everybody sorted out 66 to a pen. We're A-OK -okay there. Uh, these are pretty healthy pigs. These come out of a unit that um, the company we grow for, they don't actually own this unit. They have a contract and they purchase the pigs. So it's managed by a, 
by a vet company and uh, the health of these pigs has been pretty good and um, we haven't gone through and sorted them down so we'll go through here in uh, two days and we'll pull uh, pigs that are look rough or smaller and we'll start a couple of fallback pens but overall they're they're real good it's about a three hour drive three and a half hour drive from where these pigs are raised to here so um, right now all they want to do is lay down and nap but you come back later tonight they'll all be up running around so so far so good all right so the next time we're gonna get pigs is Thursday so we're gonna have to wait a couple days right now it's Monday we got a couple days to wait and then we'll get more pigs to hopefully maybe fill up the rest of the side how many feeders do we get one two three four five five feeders so yeah maybe we'll fill up the whole rest of the south side of the south room um, but in the meantime, we got we got to load some pigs tonight, so we're gonna to have to go over to Site One Barn. We're gonna do a little bit of sorting, and then we're gonna do load it tonight at 10:30 p.m. So I'm gonna show a little bit of footage of that, and I'll see you guys when we head over there. That's pretty good. I just got done sorting pigs with my pops and my good friend, my roommate that lives with me, uh, Kale. When he first moved in with me at the, on the farmhouse, uh, he's been my best friend for life. And I just said, you know what, why don't you just start helping us load pigs and you can help us sort pigs as well. So he's came on and he does a really good job. He caught on pretty easy. So he helps us sort and load. We got three loads of pigs going out tonight. About 150 pigs per load. Uh, as you can see, these, these guys are all marked. These are the pigs that are gonna go out. We only sorted pigs out of our south building, uh, both rooms. But this uh, west room that I'm in right now, we only had to sort the north side. Uh, the south side, we didn't have to sort because we had enough pigs. So we have roughly 300 and so some pigs. Uh, and they're all gonna go out tonight around 10.30. One thing that I'll say about sorting pigs, it is probably the hardest and most grind of a job that there is when it comes to pig farming. It is a long, grueling, and it takes some skill if you're going to be a pig farmer to do it. Um, but I much would rather sort before I load than having to sort as I load. Uh, with these rear swing gates, I've said it in this video and i said it so many times, but guys, if you are a pig farmer and want to be a pig farmer and you want to build a building, you need to put these rear swing gates in because it gives us the opportunity to sort six hours before we even load, which is amazing. If, I didn't, if we didn't have these, we would have to sort these pens as we load, which would take an extra 30 minutes to an hour per load, which is just not what not something I want to do. When I get up at midnight, 2 a.m., 10.30, I like to get go as fast as I possibly could. With that being said, guys, I'll see you guys tonight. I'll shoot a little bit of us loading up some pigs and sh shipping them off. Uh, I didn't shoot a sh lot of footage of us sorting just because like, it's a very hands-on activity. 
and my GoPro battery kind of died, so I didn't get a ton. But I like to just give you guys a little bit of glimpse of what I do and what we're doing. It's been a busy long day at pig farming. We got one more thing we got to do and load these pigs up and take them to market. So I'll see you tonight. We just got done loading three loads of hogs. It went pretty well. It's about midnight. It took about 30 minutes to load, which is typical. You know, when you have them pre-sorted, it'll take you anywhere from 30 minutes to 45 minutes to load a load of pigs, just depending on how well they load. You know, some nights they load good and some nights they don't. It's just kind of part of it. My job mainly, as you guys can kind of tell, is I get the pigs out, I make sure that I get a count on them and I'm constantly funneling pigs out of the pen. That's my job, and then we have either one guy or two guys. Tonight we had two, normally we just have one, and then they run them up the alley, and then my dad loads them. And eventually, my dad's gonna get to the age where he ain't gonna be able to load them, and I'll have to take the reins from, from him, and he'll, we'll have to switch jobs probably. But for right now, he likes genuinely likes loading them into the truck, so I let him do it, and Having that double panel that I flare out, it's a lot easier for me to do it opposed to my dad. My dad doesn't really like doing it. Um, it's a little hard on your lower back, but I, I couldn't imagine loading pigs without it, so. Duke did his part tonight. Just barked at all the pigs that went in the truck. He gives them one last bark of, to scare them, and it works every time. There goes the last truck. We did three loads. There's gonna make some tasty pork right there. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out, pushes my content further for more farmers and people like you to see it. If you like what I'm about and what this farm is about, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I post a video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.